It is a great honor to be with you again. In today's video we will talk about. Why don't cats like to have their paws touched? Let's start. Touching a cat's paws without permission usually ends badly. Felines rarely like this form of physical interaction with humans. Never touch the paws of a cat that you don't have a strong bond with. However, you will eventually have to handle your own cat's paws. Before we take a closer look at how paws can be manipulated, let's better understand why cats hate it so much to have their paws touched. 1. Sensitivity. A cat's paws have many nerve receptors. These allow a cat to detect vibrations in the ground and changes in texture. If you watch your cat move, it will crawl on tiptoe to avoid sensory overload. Touching a cat's paws unexpectedly will create an unpleasant sensation. Squeezing or pinching will be even more painful. Cat's paw pads should be handled gently. It does not mean that they can never be touched. You just need to learn how to do it carefully and at the urging of the cat. Adding surprise to pain will inevitably upset your cat. 2. Protection. Cats think like predators. However, they are not at the top of the food chain. As a result, felines also think like prey. Cats are aware that other animals are much bigger and stronger than they are, including humans. Cats take comfort in having sharp claws. They leave a cat with the confidence that he can defend himself and hurt an opponent. Alternatively, the cat will turn and run. By handling and grasping a cat's paws, you are denying it both opportunities. In essence, you are handcuffing the cat and pinning it in place. This will cause a lot of agitation and distress. The cat may start to bite as he feels that this is the only recourse left to him. The only way to change this is to develop a cat's trust in you. You know you don't want to hurt your cat, but survival instinct is a powerful thing. You must teach your cat that manipulating the paws is not synonymous with danger. Never violate a cat's trust by handling the paws without permission. 3. Massaging a cat's paws. Massaging feline paws is a great way to bond with your cat and build trust. It will also make the cat more comfortable standing. Arthritic older cats will especially enjoy this sensation. Start the massage with the upper part of the paw. Rub your thumb for about 3 seconds. Don't squeeze or pull, and certainly don't pinch. If the cat starts to walk away, follow the direction of the paw while still rubbing. If the cat seems to be enjoying the massage, move to the base of the toes. This causes the claws to spread out, so only do this if you are convinced the cat is comfortable. If the cat is in any way agitated, he will scratch you. 4. How to handle your cat's paws. We have established that cats hate being touched by their paws, and this should be avoided. However, on occasion it may be necessary. Cats are independent but cannot do everything by themselves. There may come a time when you need to touch your cat's paws. This can be to help with grooming, injury, or discomfort. 5. Treatment of leg injuries. If your cat wanders outside, injuries are always a risk. The cat can conflict with other felines, experiencing cuts and scrapes. You can step on sharp objects. While cats are adept at avoiding obstacles, accidents can happen. If your cat has something embedded in its paw, you should remove it. The most likely foreign object to get caught in a leg is broken glass. Your cat may also have a thorn or splinter of wood. 6. Trim your nails. Scratching is one of the most common behaviors of cats. Cats often scratch to mark and claim objects. Also, cats scratch to prevent their claws from growing too large. A scratching post is a non-negotiable necessity for any domestic cat. Felines simply must have the opportunity to scratch. By investing in such a toy, your cat will be entertained and focused on scratching. This will prevent your furniture or carpets from suffering. 7. Trim the hair on the paw. In addition to the claws, you may need to trim the fur around your cat's toes. This is especially likely in long-haired breeds. Excessive fur can become tangled and knotted. This will be uncomfortable for the cat. The process is similar to cutting your nails. Calm your cat and massage the paws. Hold the leg in question carefully and trim off the excess hair with sharp scissors. Work quickly and efficiently, without forcing your cat to interact more than is comfortable. If you liked this video, share it on your wasp, as well as on your social networks, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now please write us a comment, I send you a big hug, don't forget to also ask for advice on the link in the description of this video, where it says click here. Thanks.